Yeah, so we're seeing a, a trend of people trying to achieve what we call the digitally native laboratory. Uh, when we encounter laboratories, many of them have manual processes and a lot of paperwork. And so the first step is to sort of consolidate that and understand how that's going to work in a digitally connected laboratory environment. We're hooking up laboratory instrumentation and we're connecting the limbs to other enterprise applications. But the move and the ultimate goal is to become digitally native, which means that the limb system is going to build a digital twin of what happens in the physical laboratory itself. And we're able to take that information, apply it to analytics to drive decision making and automate the entire process. One of the biggest challenges that people have is really not a technical one, but it's more how to adapt to new technologies. Many of the labs that we encounter don't have limb systems, or if they do, they have old legacy systems that no longer operate and are achieving the business need. So we're able to understand what they do, take their manual processes, map those into the digital technology, and then deploy it out to the system. And so those tend to be the biggest areas of, of adaptation into a global enterprise limbs. Software service, also commonly known as SaaS, is a, a new and evolving and what's become an extremely popular way of delivering a limb system to the laboratory environment. We're able to, uh, and historically, or at least traditionally, labs would buy software and then install it on their servers on premise, or more recently, they've been moving and hosting them on the cloud environment. Uh, that meant that their IT organization and their lab staff had to administrate and maintain those systems, patch them, do operating system updates, do limbs updates on their own. It's very expensive, very laborious, uh, and it's very time consuming on their part. Instead, we're able to actually deliver the lab as a subscription, in which case we host the system and we manage and maintain and keep responsibility of making sure it gets patched and updated on a regular basis, make sure all the backups are done and the disaster recovery is in place. And for one annual fee, we basically take full responsibility. And this has very quickly become a trend in the marketplace, and this is where we're seeing the LIMS market going very rapidly. I think the, the biggest barrier in many cases and the concern that most of our customers have is how much time, commitment, and staffing commitment they're going to have to have on a project like this. So LIMS systems don't install themselves. The, the process is very collaborative. LabVantage has hundreds of professional services individuals that help you configure, deliver, and deploy your limb system, but we need their help as well. So having that time commitment and understanding what's necessary to roll the system out and how to take their manual processes and map them into an automated system are probably the biggest concerns that we need to help them with. Analytics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning are very uh, important new capabilities that LiveVantage has brought to the market in the LIMS. We're able to take the data that the LIMS uh, is maintaining and bring that into an application where we can then apply all kinds of different algorithms to derive better information that you can use for decision making. So as an example, in research as an example, we can take study data and analyze that data to come up and find out if that new drug candidate um, is going to be a viable solution that we can bring to market. And in quality, we can actually do what's called predictive analytics, where we can predict the possible outcomes of the manufacturing process, determine that there might be a failure in the future and adapt to it quickly so we can avoid any downtime loss or time to market. So applying the analytics and building what's called a scientific data lake and then using that information is really key to our solution. And LabVantage is taking care of that now with what we call LabVantage Analytics.